Welcome to the OCP Summit. There are a number of reasons we love OCP. In my role as solutions enablement, I talk to a lot of customers, SMB, enterprise, service provider, and hyperscalers. And when you talk to them, there are four benefits that are really very important to them. And they are efficiency, scalability, openness, and impact on how they can kind of lower their total cost of operation. That way, OCP hit them, hit all the four in from tenets, all the four tenets of OCP really embodies what the customers are looking for. And we are more very happy to kind of associate ourselves with OCP. Supermicro was founded 27 years ago in California. And um, this was the time when the founder Charles Liang was um, looking at the various options available out there. One of the things is he's very passionate about engineering. This was a time when the mainframes were kind of you know, slowly fading away and people were gravitating towards servers. And there was so much of inefficiency in the server environment at that time. And Charles Liang, being an engineer's engineer, he wanted to address this problem from the ground up instead of putting a Band-Aid. And that's how Supermicro was founded 27 years ago as a boutique motherboard design company. All the design is done in-house with a clear eye on providing a scalable path, providing the densest of the solutions in an efficient manner, providing the flexibility, and more importantly, addressing the thermals and the power draw so that it will be much greener solution. And Supermicro is, bet, is aligned just like OCP on what our customers are looking for. Scalability, efficiency, flexibility, and lower cost of operation. But like I said, it's not about us. It's not about OCP, it's not about Supermicro, it is about our customers. What is it that they like? What is it that they want? What are their needs and how can we help them? So when you look at the traditional IT landscape or our customer landscape, you can put them in four buckets or four silos, SMB, enterprise, hyperscalers like Google, IBM, Amazon and tier two, tier three hyperscalers, as well as the service provider telcos. But when you sit down and talk to them about their requirements, oftentimes it is a small subset of the benefits that they are after. And pretty much irrespective of who you talk to and which bucket they are in, it always comes down to those four or five different things which is a scalability, reliability, availability, and um, efficiency. And Supermicro is very familiar with it because when we started our journey 27 years ago, we wanted to address those issues. And this is where I think um, Supermicro and OCP together can help our customers a lot. Irrespective of which customer you talk to, whether you're an SMB or an enterprise, there's always a look up that happens. When you talk to SMB players, they often say, you know what, I want a solution, but let me ask you one thing. Since we work with a lot of our customers across the board, the question comes up, what are my enterprise brothers doing? How are they, my big brother doing? How are they kind of deploying it? When you talk to enterprise customers who are taking a solution, the question invariably comes down to, how are the hyperscalers deploying it? How are they achieving the scale? And all of the guys, hyperscalers, again, there are tier one and then they're tier two, tier three. And tier one hyperscalers are able to kind of, because of their size, they're able to work with the ODM suppliers to kind of get the desired form factor, to get the desired efficiency. But then again, when you look at it, there are a lot of other cloud hosting tier two, tier three guys who may not have that scale, but still would like to 
achieve what hyperscalers in the tier one segment are uh, achieving. And then all these three different um, segment of customers always look up to S uh, the service provider telco side of the business because these are the guys who achieve the finance and six lines. And um, that is the nature of the business today because um, it doesn't have to be one or the other. And that is what Supermicro has been working together and how we can kind of make this all happen in a cost effective manner. What you see here is a big win. Once again, I will try to address the enterprise segment and the service provider edge segment, and then we'll go deep, deeper into our hyperscalers, what we are doing there. So what you see here is our 2U4 node. And this is a phase of hyperconvergence. Nine years ago, we started our, you know, we started this hyperconvergence uh, segment with our twin pro square. At that time, it was the only system that was in the market that had two. Uh, that had four nodes in a 2U form factor. Since then, this is the second version of it. It's the next generation, big twin with NVMe, um, second generation Intel Xeon scalable processors, as well as uh, available in uh, AMD Epic, memory up to three terabytes, and more importantly, flexibility in the um, storage. We have NVMe, you have SAS, SATAs, SSDs, and you also have hard disk drives and a flexibility in the networking. So irrespective of where you're deploying it, whether it's an emission critical tier one, tier two, or you're kind of doing it for the disaster recovery, or you're deploying it in your remote location, you are able to do it with less manageability because there are four nodes in a single system and it's much easier to deploy. At OCP, we're really excited to launch our next line of products, the newest line of products called the Mega Data Center. And this is a, a product portfolio that includes compute as well as a storage and provides a density and the scalability that our hyperscaler customers look for. Whether you are tier two, tier, tier one, or tier two, or tier three hyperscalers, you can kind of deploy these systems and scale according to your business needs. More importantly, it is based on open design in the sense, um, and um, we follow the OCP 3.0 for connect, inter, network in, uh, connectivity. But more importantly, you are able to do it without irrespective of your scale, irrespective of your supplying uh, power, your um, supplier, uh, irrespective of your uh, supplier relationships you can be you can deploy the systems and more importantly you can kind of get all the good um, benefits that uh, hyperscalers and tier one are able to kind of get with their ODM relationships so what you see here again like I mentioned is a huge um, next generation compute in there Intel Xeon scalable as well as AMD more importantly you have 16 dem the way you have up to two terabytes of uh, memory in there with available expansion. And then what we are really excited about is once again, this is a ground up design, new design for this line of products. So any, everything you see in there is kind of designed for this specific need of being able to provide the scalability and efficiency desired of our hyperscale and large scale deployments. One thing that we take great pride is in our innovation. And more importantly, the way we design our motherboards using the best practices. Um, what you see here is um, oftentimes what has happened is there has been a lot of technology changes and the compute side of it there has been great changes on um, velocity and um, development of new technologies on the um, storage side of it. But uh, Compute network and storage go hand in hand in order to make any meaningful difference for any of the applications out there. All these three components have to be up to par. What we see lately is that networking is proving to be a little bit of a bottleneck. So what we did with our design is we kind of went with the advanced IO modular design based on OCP 3.0. What it really means is you can 
take the network, you can separate or you can modularize your network uh, component and be able to kind of move up or move down based upon your network um, network connectivity in the rest of your data center without bringing a screwdriver, without bringing any tools, you should be able to kind of swap out the network module from the outside itself. And that is a huge benefit. And you can cut down on the deployment costs as well as the manageability costs going forward uh, um, in the life cycle. This is a uh, different varieties of the OCP 3.0 NIC modules that we provide for better connectivity. Again, toolless and can be swapped out from the outside without even lifting the lid of the system. And you have a different um, combinations in there. Um, you have two, four, eight, and, um, and different speeds, 10, 25, and 100. So what is it that, coming down again, it's all about you as a customer. What is it for you? What is the value? When you look at it, Traditionally, in a computer design, in a server system, you see multiple different levels of voltage. You got the 2.4, you got the 5, you got the 12. And uh, anytime you have these different voltage of, um, voltages, there is loss in transmission, right? And there are more wires. So what we did with this design of Mega DC is that it's a single 12 volt power. Cuts down on the number of uh, wires, but more importantly, increases the efficiency decreases the losses. So that's a huge benefit. We are able to do a better cooling because we go with a flat cable for high-speed transportation and fewer power wires. That re reduces the resistance to the airflow. That means you can get more done with less. And then we introduced the AI OEM. Again, it is based on the OCP version 3.0 of the shock uh, form factor different uh, configurations available, speeds available in there. And we made the uh, flexibility in the IO system, no riser to three risers, as well as support up to five PCIe slots. And we got a GPU enabled system that comes in a two U form factor. And these are the benefits that really kind of, you know, help our customers, the hyperscalers and the large enterprise to scale up their data centers and in increments of one U, or if they want to deploy the two U with the GPU, they can do that. When we sit down with the customers, right, there are some segment of the customers who say, you know what, I don't want all the belts and whistles. I want these four different features and I want them to work well. And that is where we kind of focus more on with our mega DC line of products where we deliver that four criteria that is important for the customers and we do it in a cost-effective manner. But then again, there are a lot of hyperscalers that kind of look at increase at specific workloads where they want the low latency, high density, high performance um, as important uh, factors for their uh, customers so that they can learn, deliver the SLAs. And for that customer, for those customers, we have our ultra systems. Once again, these are the flagship product line within a form factor of one U and two U with a variety of networking and expansion slots. And like I said, this is kind of, um, if uh, this happens in different networking options with the 10 and 25 and 100 that provides the flexibility to our um, hyperscale customers or large enterprises to scale the data centers in the increments of one U and add on more compute and storage capacity as and when required. One of the pro greatest prides that we take is in our design. That is what we bring to the design uh, table, a good solid design that, ex that provides the performance, that provides the efficiency, and that provides the scalability for our customers. When you look at a traditional motherboard today, you see the CPU, whether it's a one socket or two sockets, depending upon the number of sockets in the smack dab in the middle, and then you got your DIMMs on the sides and then your IO options. And there is a reason for that kind of a layout to bring the latency down. 
But oftentimes what happens is when the next generation of the CPU comes in, which oftentimes tends to uh, trends in six months, nine months cadence, uh, your system is already lacking, uh, lagging behind. And there are two options at that uh, stage. Either refresh it, which is every nine months or six months, depending upon how frequently the CPU, next generation of CPU processors come out, or limp along, store your applications of the performance you desired until you know you are closer to the refresh cycle, whatever refresh cycle for your organization is five years or seven years. Like we addressed the problem 27 years of the server inefficiency. We took a close look at the design of the motherboard and we said, it doesn't have to be that way. We made even the motherboard design modular because when you look at today, anyways, I was modular. Why does the CPU and the memory have to be on the board in the smack in the middle? Why can't we modularize it? That way, when the new technology comes in, all you have to do is instead of bringing a forklift and kind of refreshing the entire infrastructure, you have your server admin who can swap out that modular CPU memory and put in the new one and you refresh your uh, system for the next um, wave of applications. That way you're not starving your applications. You're not building a lot of a huge inlays of infrastructure cost and you are kind of, you know, simplifying everything. That's a huge benefit. And that's what our um, disaggregated blade architecture is all about. This is something which you can see in at work in um, Intel's data center. And by using the disaggregated blade architecture, they're able to achieve a PUE of 1.05. Another area of innovation that we take great pride is in our storage. The amount of density of the storage that we, that we can pack into a one new system. What you see there is a one petabyte scale based on a 32 EDSFF form factor from Intel. And the density that you can get there, one petabyte scale, and more importantly, it's a dual socket system that you can have compute. So one system can develop as a compute and the storage, but more importantly, what it can do and what kind of infrastructure it replaces is mind boggling. This one system can replace one full rack of um, infrastructure, your blades and your compute, whether you're using blades for compute or any other one you form factor for the compute. And then the expensive fiber channel switch in there, fiber channel over ethernet switch costs around 300K. And then you have the flash array for your storage. All those three things you are able to do kind of swap out with this one new system that can kind of achieve the efficiency and scale. And that's a huge cost benefit. And more importantly, we have kind of simplified the maintenance part of it also, because you're not depending upon a fiber channel is establishing the SAN and doing the zone. So that's a huge benefit. And uh, irrespective of where and which line of products you talk, whether you're talking about the data center product, uh, data center optimized product, or whether you're talking about uh, uh, the newest uh, mega DC line of products that we launched, or we are talking about the WIO, the script is very similar from the customer's viewpoint. You got the compact form factor that you desire so that you can lower the footprint. You get the flexibility we get the application ready. We are an end-to-end -end solution provider. We can provide a complete solution, fully certified solutions on um, uh, VMware, Microsoft, or any of this open source with an Ubuntu or Canonical, or Canonical SUSE or Red Hat. Secure solution using VMC. And on top of it, we keep it green in the sense you got the best performing lowest TCO system out there. The value we bring to the table is huge. Like I said, if you are a hyperscaler without that uh, supplier connectivity and you cannot go the ODM route, this is a huge benefit. You don't have to do that way because the number of SKUs we have, we are able to provide you with a flexible and scalable path when it comes to your compute and storage. And more importantly, it's a high quality and cost-effective 
and we are able to provide this because everything is in-house in the sense the design is in-house, the assembly happens in-house, and between the three you know, um, regional headquarters that we have, one, uh, one uh, main headquarters in San Jose, California, and the two regional headquarters, one at the Netherlands and one in Taiwan, Taipei, we can, no matter which part of the world you are in, we are able to kind of service and support you. And that's a huge benefit. And more importantly, we can provide the best performance per dollar, per watt, and per square foot, bar none. Having said that, the pride, the greatest pride that we take is first to market. But more importantly, first to market doesn't necessarily mean cutting corners. We are first to market and we provide a complete solution. And it is number one in green innovation. Global manufacturing, like I mentioned, and more importantly, we are able to achieve all of this because of our modular design, free air cooling, best in the industry PUE. Having said that, there are three different ways you can reach out. You can contact your Supermicro sales team. And um, more importantly, we have been in the business for 27 years and all of our success, we owe it to our channel partners, distributors and resellers. Reach out to your favorite channel partner or reseller and we will be happy to sit down and architect a solution for you. Alternatively, you can reach out to supermicro.com and one of our solution enablers will reach out to you and kind of help architect the solution. With that said, we are the infrastructure guys, whether you're looking at the compute, whether you're looking at the storage, or whether you're looking at the network, we will provide you with an end-to-end -end solution for your requirements in a, which, uh, either form factor, whether you're looking at the one year or whether you're in a, looking at the twin architecture or a blade form factor, or you're looking at a dense storage, we will, we will kind of, a, we can provide a complete solution for your requirements. Having said that, thank you. And we look forward to kind of meeting you at the next OCP session.